Okay, so this question says that radium has a half-life of 30 seconds. How long will it take for 5% of it to be left? That's what the rest of the question says, 5% of it to be left here. Okay, now the thing about the way that question, the equation here works is the final amount is equal to the initial amount, in this case times one half, to the t over the period of growth here. Now, we're not told how much we started off with, but just a percentage here. So let's assume we start with 100, and if we have 5% left, it's just 5. So one half, and then this will be to the amount of time that's gone by, and we know this is gonna be 30 seconds. So my answer t here is gonna end up being in seconds because the, the period is in seconds. Okay, now I can divide that out here, and I'll, I will get uh, one over 20. That's not gonna be a, 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 a power that has the same base as, as the two here, so I should really just go to my calculator and enter this stuff in, okay? So I will enter over here, this will be 100 times one divided by two to the power of x divided by 30. And then down here, I'm gonna want five to be left over. Now I'm gonna to go to my window settings. Uh, probably doesn't make sense to have negative time, so we'll start time at zero, and it doesn't make sense to talk about negative amount, so we'll make sure that that's at zero. Uh, we're gonna start with 100, uh, okay, grams, whatever, the 100% of the original sample here. What I don't know is how long it's gonna take me. So let's just see what happens here, and I graph this. There it is, there's the original amount, and there's my 5%. Okay, well, well, 10 clearly didn't do it. 10 is not big enough, I gotta make that X max bigger. Let's make a jump here, let's say 50. Oh, look at that, 50 doesn't do it. Okay, let's let's get greedy here. Let's make this 100. That's got to do it, right? It doesn't. Crazy. Okay, so let's go to our window. Let's make that 150. So there's just as you look at this, there's really no magic trick to doing this properly. You're you're guessing and checking. I'm guessing and checking. Obviously. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got a point of intersection there. So second trace to get into the calc menu, uh, intersect here. Is on the first curve, yep. Did it jump to the second curve, yep. Is it okay to guess 75.5? Yep. And it takes us down to 129.6 blah, blah, blah. This is all seconds here. So now I'm gonna quit here and press uh, X to pull that out here. So what we got here was 129.65 seconds. Okay, so essentially this is this is really, really close to let's say 130 seconds, okay? It was 129, what did they say, point, point 0.7 seconds here. Now I tell you what, let's divide that into groups of 60 here. So we're getting two minutes. We get two minutes here, and actually let's, let's do this. So we know that's gonna be the case there. And I know two minutes is 120 uh, seconds here. So that was like basically two minutes and 10 seconds. Two minutes and roughly 10, 10 seconds to get down to 5%. That's actually pretty quick.